Greetings Medarians, Ken Suaga here with Coated Cardboard, bringing you a quick video on how to get started in the Cave Sickle Queen Bounty Pack. So this is a work in progress from Succubus Publishing and they're looking for your feedback. So look in the description of the video, there's a link for a Google form to fill out. Also join us in a Discord channel, here's a link down here at the bottom of the mod or there's a link in the description of this video as well where we talk about all things Madara. Succubus Publishing is also in the Discord, so if you wanted to chat with them, had feedback or questions there, it's a great place to come. So as always, it's good to read through the change log if there's been a recent update so you can kind of know what's different about stuff. But to get started here, I'll have a container over here that's gonna have all the assets that you're gonna need for the Cave Sequel Bounty. And the way this is going to work is not scripted right now, so it's all manual. We're working on that. Uh, we will have some scripting for you soon, but if you're excited and you want to play it now, uh, it's here for you. And you can take this, copy this, this is all you need, over to your current saves. If you want to play where you're at and not have to bring everything into the newest version of the mod, there are a few updates. Um, it may not necessarily be worth it for you to take all the time to bring it over, uh, but there are a few things that are a little bit better. Again, check that change log to figure that out. So to see, take this over to your current save, you'll just need to right click it, go to saved objects, hit save. So that's it. Now you just load up your current save and you'll go to objects, save objects, and you can find it there. If you had a lot of stuff like me, there is a search bar here where you can just type in queen and you'll be able to find it, click it, and drag it out onto your table and you'll have all the assets you need. So once you're ready to get dig into this, you just right click and search and you will have a, a PDF book to pull out. There is a bag for all the container or all the terrain components. Here is a monster loot deck. You can just take that and you can add that straight to your current monster loot. And then you'll have these burrows. You'll discover what these are later. Just set them off to the side for now. And then you'll have a hidden card pack. So again, there's no scripting on this stuff yet. Um, I did make it in a way so that you could still not be spoiled. So when you're told to draw an asset from the hidden container, you can just right click search and then everything is inside another container. So when it tells you to type in uh, or pull out BE1, you can just pull it out or there is just, uh, you can type in the, the number there and search for it and pull it out. And this will contain all of the assets needed for BE1. So again, you will have all the new terrains like overlays and even some of the water and, and current stuff in here, but you're still going to need the regular uh, maps. You're gonna have to pull from the, the current stuff. So this is searchable again, if you didn't know, and you, let's say you need UM12, you just type in UM12 and there you go. You got the map that you need. So that will help kind of speed that up in that process. So that's pretty much it. Again, send your feedback uh, to that Google form. Join us in Discord. Thank you guys for watching this video and have a great day.